So for this problem, to write the standard equation of the circle, so given the center and the tangent line, so from this given center is at point negative 5, positive 4, then tangent to the y-axis, so first we need to plot the coordinate of the center, so this is x and this is y. So x is negative 5 and this is negative 5 for x. y is positive 4. So this is positive 4 for y. Then we need to connect to locate the point of the center. So this is now the point of the center. And since tangent to the y-axis, and this is the y-axis, so therefore, this is now the tangent line. Then to find the radius, so radius from center to the tangent line. So from center to the tangent line, so this is now the radius. And to find the value for the radius, so we're going to use the counting method. So we need to count at the opposite side. So this is the opposite side. So we need to count to find the radius. And in counting, so this is how to count. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore the radius is equal to 5. So take note that radius is always positive. Then if you want to draw a circle, so this is now the circle tangent to the y-axis. Then to write now the standard equation using this formula. So we have the center, that's h and k. So from the given center, this is h and this is k. Then we can write now the standard equation. So we have x minus h and h is negative 5. Then quantity to the power 2 then plus 4y minus k. And k is positive 4. Quantity to the power 2 then equals the radius and the radius is 5 then to the power 2 then to simplify so this double negative so becomes positive so we have the quantity of x plus 5 to the power 2 then plus the quantity of y minus 4 to the power 2 then for this 5 squared so this is 25 so this is now the standard equation for the circle. And for this given, so again, we need to plot the coordinate of the center. So this is x and y. So x is positive 4. And y is negative 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is negative 7. Then we need to connect to locate the point of the center. So this is now the point of the center. Then since tangent to x equals negative 2, so this is x negative 2. So therefore, this is now the tangent line. And to find the radius, so from center to the tangent line, so from center to tangent line, so this is now the radius. And to find the value for this radius, so we're going to use the counting method at the opposite side. So this is now the opposite side. So in counting, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 so therefore radius is equal to 6 then we can write now the standard equation because we have now the three values the h k and r so from the center this is h 
and this is k. So from the standard equation, so we have x minus h, and h is positive 4, then to the power 2, then plus y minus k, and k is negative 7 to the power 2, then equals 4r, r is 6, then to the power 2, then to simplify, so this is the quantity of x minus 4 to the power 2, then plus y, this double negative, so this becomes positive, so plus 7, quantity to the power 2, then for the 6 squared, this is 36. So this is now the standard equation for this circle. Then for this given, so tangent to the x-axis, so this is x and this is y. So x is negative 4, so this is negative 4 for x. Then y is positive 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is positive 7, then you connect to locate the center of the circle. So this is now the center of the circle. Then tangent to the x-axis, and this is the x-axis. So therefore, this is now the tangent line. And to solve for the radius, so from center to the tangent line, so this is now the radius. Then to find the value for the radius, so we need to count at the opposite side. So this is now the opposite side. So in counting, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So radius is equal to 7. Then we can write now the standard equation. And from the center, this is h, this is k. So we have x minus h is negative 4, quantity to the power 2, then plus y minus k, that's positive 7, quantity to the power 2, then equals the radius is 7, so this is 7 squared. Then for this double negative, so this becomes positive, then plus y minus 7 to the power 2, then equals 7 squared is 49, so this is now the standard equation of the circle, then for this problem, so this is x, and this is y, so x is negative 2, and y is negative 6, then you connect, so this is now the center, and since tangent to y equals negative 2, so this is y negative 2, so therefore this is now the tangent line. So to find now the radius, so from center to the tangent line, so this is now the radius. Then to find the value for the radius, so count at the opposite side, so this is the opposite side, so in counting, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore the radius is equal to 4. Then to write now the standard equation, so from the center this is h and this is k. So we have now x minus h, so h is negative 2, quantity to the power 2, then plus y minus K, K is negative 6, quantity to the power 2 equals R. R is 4, so this is 4 squared. Then to simplify, so this double negative, so this becomes positive. Then plus Y, and this double negative, so this becomes positive. Then to the power 2, then equals 4 squared, this is 16. So this is now the standard equation for the circle.